Hello, this is Capo, and this video is going to be a little different. What you're seeing now are some external shots of the Sears in Vineland, New Jersey that opened in 1951 and is slated to be closed by September of 2017. When I was a kid, I went here all the time with my dad, and I figured other people might have similar fond memories of this Sears in Vineland. That's why I wanted to make this video for those of you that might not be able to get here before it closes. So this was the last of the big outdoor signs, but out front, there's this one, which I think might be original to the store. It's the same thing on the other side, and the arrows are now pointing the wrong direction. I thought it was a cool touch, though, that it says open tonight underneath of there. This Sears has three separate entrances, and this is the front entrance on Landis Avenue, and again, I think those Sears letters are original to the store. This is one of the rear entrances to the store. This goes directly into the hardware section, and this whole area when I was a kid was fenced off, and that's where they kept tractors and other large outdoor items. You can see it's completely empty now. This little shack here, I think, sat on the corner of the fence, but I'm not quite sure why they needed a guard shack at all for a Sears. And this is the third entrance to the store. It's also around the back, and this is the one I liked going into the most as a kid because you'll see it's quite unique. Here we go inside through the double doors to the merchandise pickup area. I always liked going through these doors as a kid because walking down this long hallway made me feel like I was somewhere behind the scenes, somewhere that I wasn't supposed to be. And even as an adult, it's still kind of exciting to walk down this long hallway, turn right, and there is Sears. I don't want to badmouth this store because I know it's a tough time for retailers, but take a look at this. Look at their selection. Here's a small appliances section, and you keep panning around and you see some mattresses over there, but 90% of this store now is clothing and some baby items. I pointed the camera down at the floor because I wondered, is this floor original to the 1951 construction, just like the signs outside? And when I was a kid, and even a couple years ago, if you were walking down this aisle, right ahead of you would be the electronics area. Now. That is more clothing. Just to drive home the point, here's the former electronics area that is now completely filled with more clothes. And an unstaffed customer service desk. I think in this back section of the store there was only one employee over near the mattresses. Now going forward, another unique thing that I remember about this store as a kid is this little ramp that goes up into the front section of the store. There are two of these actually, on the other side of those mattresses running parallel to this is another way to go up into the front section of the store. And this is a reverse angle looking back towards the former electronics area. Did I mention that this Sears was 90% clothing now? It boggles my mind that there are so many clothes in this place. There's some different merchandise down the center of the aisle, but otherwise it's clothing. This again, I wanted to show the flooring, how it's laid out like a roadway. And this is when I ran into trouble as I got towards the front of the store. This cashier took notice of me as she was talking to another Sears employee, and you'll hear her clearly say, is he supposed to be here? And within a couple seconds, she gets on the PA and calls for her manager. I'll let the end of this play with the audio so you can hear what they were saying. At that point, I stopped recording, I turned around, and started to head towards the hardware section to get more footage. The cashier was already on the phone with the manager, and since she was already looking at me, I had to say hello. She asked who I was with, I said myself, she told the manager this, and the manager told the cashier to tell me that I needed permission from media relations to continue recording. I said, alright, no problem, thanks, and left the store. I didn't want to push my luck since the liquidation sale hasn't even started yet, so I might go back later to try to get some more footage before they officially close, but I feel like they're going to be on the lookout for people recording like I was. And I was only using my cell phone. It's not like I had a full-on camera with me. So anyway, that is the Sears in Vineland, New Jersey. If you have any memories of that store you want to share, leave a comment below. 
And if this was your first time here to Capo TV and you've browsed some of the other videos on this channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button now. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.